SCP-1003 Object Class Keto SCP-1003-1 is an adult tapeworm of the species Echinococcus granulosus, known for causing hydated disease. Like others of its species, SCP-1003-1 inhibits the small intestines of carnivores, where it produces eggs that are passed on in the host feces. The eggs can survive up to years in the outside environment. When the eggs enter the gastrointestinal tract of a human subject via consumption of contaminated food, they hatch into larvae, which burrow into the host tissues. It is at this stage that SCP-1003's anomalous properties begin to manifest. Instead of developing into cysts, the larvae develop into creatures which resemble human embryos, hereby designated SCP-1003-2. The vast majority of SCP-1003-2 specimens die before they have a chance to develop. Those that survive are usually those that are embedded into nutrient-rich tissue, such as the hepatic tissue. As they develop, they absorb nutrients from the surrounding tissue, which often causes problems for the intermediate host. SCP-1003-2's development mostly follows the pattern of a normal human prenatal development, but at a faster rate. By 8 weeks, it is as mature as a 3-week-old neonate. Although it is similar in size to an 8-week-old embryo, once it has reached this stage, it will actively consume the intermediate host from within using sharp, hooked teeth. SCP-1003-2's growth is accelerated to an even greater extent as it is doing this. By the time it has fully consumed the intermediate host, usually after minutes or so, it will have developed into a child. The physical age of the child typically ranges from 10 months to 11 years, depending on the mass of the intermediate host. Though in extreme cases, where the intermediate host is morbidly obese, it can be as high as 13 to 15 years. Once SCP-1003-2 is finished, it will lose its hooked teeth, along with its cannibalistic tendencies, from where on it will be functionally indistinguishable from a human in every aspect, with no knowledge or memory of having been a parasite. It will even possess learned skills, such as language, that would be expected of a child its apparent age, despite there being no way it could have learned them. Instances of SCP-1003-2 are usually taken into orphanages and sometimes adopted by foster parents. Their only anomalous properties at this stage is that their DNA is somehow still identical to that of the Echinococcus granulosus, and that their body fluids, including sweat and saliva, contain tapeworm protoscolex, which infect carnivores and develop into SCP-1003-1, thus continuing the cycle. Addendum Testing of SCP-1003 with animals such as cattle and sheep, which are common intermediate hosts of the species, have found that its anomalous properties only manifest in humans, and in all other cases, its life cycle is normal and causes hydated disease in the intermediate host. Special Containment Procedures The Foundation currently has 10 instances of SCP-1003-2. Designated SCP-1003-2-A through to K in its possession all of which are held in separate, heavily guarded high-security cells at Bio-Research Area 13. All personnel at Bio-Research Area 13 are to undergo regular, compulsory testing for signs of SCP-1003 infection. Personnel wishing to access SCP-1003-2-A to K may only do so for the express purposes of research. Must also have Level 4 security clearance and must also have written permission from O5 beforehand. They are to wear biohazard suits when entering SCP 1003 2 cells and go through an intensive disinfection process afterwards. 
No animals of the order Carnivora are allowed at Bioresearch Area 13 under any circumstances. Well guys, that was SCP-1003. Um, honestly disturbing as fuck. Uh, um, and I say that because um, the image here that gives me on the page as I'm reading this is really bad. Just, just really, really bad. <laughs> um, you probably see the, the photo of it in the thumbnail, actually. Um, but yeah, it's it's bad. Um, anyway, let, let's let's diagnose this. This, this is a tapeworm species that, for some reason, when its host is human, will turn into a fucking baby. And then consume the host. And then somehow just... After the host is consumed and all it remains is it, it. It's just a little kid. Like, what? The fuck? Um... Uh... Yeah, so... Um... I don't really know what to say. Tapeworms honestly just creep me out. Like, just, just the whole whole concept and the way they look like it's just ugh, it's just not my thing but this kind of takes it to a whole new level where it becomes you but ba you basically give birth but you fucking get eaten like just, you just get devoured by it by your own fucking kid <laughs> it's kind of like that <laughs> anyway I'm, I'm gonna stop making it weird let me know you thought of it in the comments below if you'd like to leave a like if you dislike it, dislike it. Subscribe to this channel, and if you do, hit the bell to get notified. Uh, join my Discord, the link to do so is in the description below. And as always, thank you so much for watching.